Cleveland County schools are cutting out cell phone distractions with a new code of conduct for students beginning next year. The district had that discussion earlier this evening, creating different policies for things like bullying, dress code, electronic devices like cell phones. WCNC Charlotte's Colin Mayfield listened in on that meeting to gauge what's next for the district and their updated cell phone policies. Colin. That's right, Fred Vanessa. The district is taking a renewed focus to cut down on disruptions inside the classroom, looking to create the best learning environment for students. The biggest change is around cell phones and prohibiting students from using them during the school day. There are four policies uh, on the agenda for first read tonight. Cleveland uh, County School Board members getting a first look at updated policies surrounding the code of student conduct inside the district. Cleveland County school leaders looking to eliminate distractions inside school. Policy committee met on May 2nd. Dr. Fisher highlighted the draft cell phone policy that been, had been discussed in previous several meetings. Inside the district's policy code 4318, Cleveland County Schools banning cell phones or wireless communication devices. After a period of discussion, the committee unanimously recommend that the policy draft as amended be presented to the board. So here's the policy. They can't be active, displayed, or visible during school hours. For elementary, middle, and high school students, the same punishment if it's used during the day. For the first offense, up to a one-day in-school suspension with the second and third offenses, leading to more serious punishment, up to five days of out-of-school suspension. Now, there's slightly different punishments here, Fred Vanessa. If a student's cell phone creates a disruption, according to the policy, that includes causing an interruption in the education environment. For example, capturing a fight on your phone and showing it to other students. So the board will look to approve the new policies at the next board meeting come June. Fred Vanessa.